Hey guys, what's up? It's Jasmine. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I'm going to be doing three really simple makeup looks that you guys can do at home for New Year's. So these are three different coverages. Um, I did full coverage with false lashes, like a medium coverage with false lashes, and something super simple with natural lashes, like just mascara. Um, so if you guys want to take some like variations of all three, totally awesome. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to end up going with this makeup look just because it's really simple and I, I'm not doing anything too crazy and I'm probably not going to want to like scrub off a bunch of makeup. So this is definitely something that I'm probably going to go for, but make sure to watch to the end of the video if you guys want to see this. It's number three, even though it's my top pick, but I guess save the best for last. I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this video. So this is look number one. It's definitely a lot more full glam. So if you guys want to get this look, make sure to keep watching. So starting out, I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Primer. And I'm just going to rub that all over my face evenly to prepare for my Sephora foundation. This is in the shade Medium. And it is pretty dark, but I wanted to go for something that was a little bit more full color coverage and for that this one is my absolute go-to favorite it's really similar to the forever HD foundation so I really really like this one so I'm blending it all the way down my neck because clearly it is a little bit too dark for my skin but if I was going to be going with this look I definitely would self tan with this as well Next, I'm going to be setting my face with the Bare Minerals Loose Powder. This has been my absolute favorite the past few months, and I'll just throw a little coat of this on and go about my day every single day because it's seriously that amazing. Then I'm going to be going in with the Bare Minerals Concealer underneath my eyes, and of course I'm going to blend that in, but then I didn't show that. I don't really know why, but anyways. <laughs> now I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow, and I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows. I really, really like this. The only thing is that it is super dark. Now I'm going to be locking those brows in place with the Lancome Eyebrow Gel. This was sent to me, but I have used it ever since I sent it to me because it is seriously so amazing. Now moving on to eyes, I'm going to be going in with my Lorac unzipped palette and I'm going to be taking the lightest shade on that palette which is just kind of a creamy color as my base and then a mauve pink shade to kind of start my crease. It's going to be like my transition shade. Now I'm going to be going in with the burgundy shade and this one is so beautiful and to really make my eyes pop I'm going in underneath my eyes and making that pretty dark so that way they'll stand out. Then I'm going in with rose quartz on my Lorac Mega 3 palette and that's just going to be like my signature shade. It is so beautiful and then I'm going in with a shimmery white shade that is also in that palette and going in my inner corner. Then I'm going to be using a really shimmery mocha shade out of that palette as well and that is going to give my eye a little bit of depth in that corner. Then I'm going to be using my Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D to contour my face. Then I'm going to be using a super bold highlight and it is the Carly by Belle palette, like her original palette, I believe it's discontinued. But that's what I'm going to be using. It is super, super shiny. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm sure you guys can tell, but it is so shiny. Then I'm going to be going in with, I believe, Vixen by Kylie Cosmetics, um, her matte shade. And I really, really love this. It's just a very nice, rich, like, Merlot shade. It's very beautiful. And that concludes this look. Never was the last word that I heard you say. 
So this is look number two. It's kind of that medium look. I do have on false lashes, um, but it's not like super, super heavy. It's kind of um, a little bit more easygoing, kind of a nice like night out sort of look if you're not wanting to go for super full coverage. So if you wanna get this look, make sure to keep watching. Okay, so now we're moving on to look number two. I tried to get makeup look number one's makeup off completely. I don't really know how well I did, but here we go, starting out with primer. Like I said, I'm going to be going in with my primer, and on top of that, I'm going to be putting the same Bare Minerals Loose Powder, and then contouring my face with my Kat Von T Shade and Light Palette. This is really similar to the steps in the first, but I'm not applying as much product. Then I'm going to be defining my brows with my Anastasia Dip Brow and locking those in place again with that Lancome Eyebrow Gel. Moving on to eyes, I'm going to be using Peach Bellini in my Lorac Mega 3 palette and this is just a really nice pinky peach shade and that is going to be my base. Then I'm going in with my Laura Geller The Delectables palette and going in with Mushroom and I can't remember the other brown shade but I'm playing that one as well. Then I'm going in with that darker so I can kind of tell where it is I'm going to put a darker shade early, later, later on in this tutorial. <laughs> then I'm going to be applying that same dark brown shade to my lower lash line and then applying a light coppery shade to the entire lid. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Then I'm going in with a shimmery mocha shade into the corners of my eyes and that's going to give me a really nice depth. And then I'm going to be going in with a very beautiful vanilla shade. It is called Honey actually, but it's very shimmery and that's going to be going in the inner corner of my eye. I love this look. It really makes the blue of my eyes pop so much. And then I applied lashes and now I'm going in with the final touches of lip gloss and it is going to be Moscow Mule in a buxom lip plumping cream. Then I'm going to be going in with Frat Boy by The Balm and applying a little bit of highlight from Laura Geller. And that is going to conclude this makeup look. Me gone. Okay, so this is the third look. This is just kind of a really super like natural, really laid back, easy look. This is something that you can even do every single day, but it has some shimmery eyeshadow, so I thought this would be just kind of cute to throw in for someone that's not really wanting like a full coverage look, because I know that New Year's people can get super full coverage. Like my first look is not as crazy as it can get, but it's pretty full coverage for me so if you have been waiting for this look make sure to keep watching my face is literally hating me right now so first I'm gonna be going in with poor professionals by benefit and using a giant kabuki brush with my bare minerals loose powder and applying that all over my face and then I'm going to be taming those brows with that same Lancome eyebrow gel and then I'm gonna be applying a little bit of my NYX Brow Wiz. I don't really know if that's what it's called, but drawing in a few little brows in the front. Then I'm gonna be going in with a burgundy shade out of that same Lorac unzipped palette. And then I was like, this is a super laid back look. I have to use my fingers for this and not a brush. And then to go over the top of that, I'm gonna be going in with a shimmery gold pink color out of that as well and applying that to the center of my lids to give it that New Year's pop. Then I'm gonna be applying my mascara by Benefit. It is roller lash. For those of you that are wondering, if you have small lashes, this works wonders. Then I'm gonna be going with that same Laura Geller highlighter and applying that. Then I'm going to be using my giant kabuki brush just to kind of give a more of a natural finish with a butter bronzer by Physicians Formula to contour my face. Then I'm gonna be going in with Too Faced's lip injections and that is going to be my lipstick. In my head, in my head, I just wanna pull you closer in this bed, in this bed. Take me back into your arms and I'll never let you down. 
So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and maybe you'll try out a few of these different looks or even just kind of get some ideas for what it is that you might want to do. And if you are new to my channel, hello. I hope that you guys will make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you guys have made a New Year's resolution or just simply, simply, you guys have simply made some goals for 2018, leave them in the comment section down below. I think it'd be kind of fun to do like a recap video at the end of 2018, just kind of asking you guys if you met any of those goals or if you stuck to those New Year's revolution, resol oh my God, resolutions. <laughs> um, so definitely make sure to leave those down below and let me know which one of these was your favorite look and I will see you guys in my next video and also in 2018. 18 if I don't put another video up before 2018 but anyways see you guys in my next video <laughs> bye so this is also going to be my new year's outfit so in case you guys are wondering this jacket is from Windsor and this little like lacy top is from Forever 21 and I'll have them linked down below and if they're not available then I will also have linked something similar